we have a truly like new Flagstaff high wall pop-up coming in here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, this is a sister to the Rockwood series that we carry here at Haylet RV, so I'm very, very familiar with it. And uh, these are probably among the most highly appointed um, folding campers on the market today. Uh, so much so to the tune of you could easily call this as much of a fold down travel trailer as a pop up camper. Um, it's got all, I'm going to sneeze if I, whew, one of those moments where it's coming on and you're trying to fight it off. There we go. Uh, if you just, I've always heard if you just put your finger on your nose and say banana real fast, it'll work. It usually does. Anyway, so power lift up front. This thing goes up and down, uh, uh, much easier than a manual crank especially important when you have like a this has a full-size 13,500 BTU air conditioner on it those things are heavy uh, you know it's nice to have the power winch doing the work for you I will say though they're anything but quiet <laughs> but that being said they're also up and down so fast it's not a big deal they're also not louder than power stabilizer jacks you find on normal travel trailers and fifth wheels every day so probably not that big a deal i do like the double propane tanks up front uh again more like a travel trailer than a pop-up in that regard i think we've got i'm looking at this like it looks like maybe king front queen rear heated mattresses um extremely well maintained uh, the, uh, I mean, you can look at this and I mean, the, the material itself still shiny and new. It's been, it has not been put away wet. It hasn't had mold spots or anything like that. This is, this is how a pop up supposed to be kept. We've got, uh, all of our little hookups, all our campsite hookups in one spot over here. I do like that hot and cold outside shower. We also have our water heater right here. And this is storage below the dinette seat in that slide out. Um, the uh, four corners, you have scissor stabilizer jacks. They give you a little better stabilization than single leg jacks. Uh, usually high walls, you're going to see four jacks. I, I don't know if I've ever seen one with only two rears, but uh, some conventional tent campers in a normal size, not a big size like this, I have seen that done. Um, over here, you see something interesting. It's got its own little uh, like slide open outside kitchen, which is something you don't tend to see on pop-ups very often, mostly because they don't have the physical space, but this being a larger high wall model, they could get away with that. So you've got your own little cooktop out here. Now the original, oh, there's my pen. The original RVQ grill is uh, still out here, uh, or inside rather, and that can hook up out here. Uh, you can open up your uh, pop-up awning back here and just have a great time. You've got all of your uh, entertainment, you know, your stereo playing, all of your hookups and everything, all your uh, uh, cooktops and everything out here. And this is a, uh, a molded plastic countertop instead of wood. So like right now, when I put this out, a little bit of uh, morning condensation dribbled onto that thing. Well, you don't have to worry about it. You know, it's not going to hurt it whatsoever. It's not going to sponge and swell. And when you're done with it, just like a, a drawer, basically, it just rolls right away. It's actually got a strut to help keep it open or closed. And all of, like, even the latches and everything in this work well. Nothing on this has been torqued or stressed. Bigger wheels on this, too. A lot of pop-ups have these smaller 13-inch wheels. This is, uh, a, like, a 14-inch travel trailer tire, which is nice. Um, so that's the, uh, that's a, another pocket of storage. This has, uh, well, okay, for, this is something I should have mentioned a long time ago. To give you an idea of how little this is really used, the water system's never been used. I mean... The, like the the toilet has none of that's ever been used, but the water system has never been used. That's pretty awesome. One piece entry door, which is a lot nicer coming and going for a tall guy like me. Double step. I, you know, I honestly I should have put a piece of carpet down. I meant to because I feel bad walking in this thing. It's so clean with uh, you know without having a place to to wipe my feet off. The only thing they did quote did to this is to help make the transition up to the beds a little easier. It looks like they built these, I mean, very well-constructed uh, uh, little steps just to make getting up and down easier. So, being a high wall model, they had more wall to work with, and you've got just dramatically more counter space here. Now you're going to get a, a full kitchen uh, set of appliances like you would in a normal trailer. It's just in a smaller size. So we've got a full oven, and they recessed it to give you great counter space here, and they uh, gave you uh, um, sink covers so that you'd have, you know, good counter space here as well. The only thing you have to do when you fold this down is just take the sink faucet off. Other than that, being a high wall model, it's pretty easy. But great drawer space down here. It's a little dark this morning in here. I failed to bring a battery box with me. That's probably, I really didn't do anybody a favor doing that, so my apologies. Over here, full-size microwave. This is our furnace. 
good storage all the way around it. Remember, behind this, underneath, is actually the outside kitchen. Now, you're going to see a pair of these white bags. This is a hanging shelf. You can actually... Where's my hookups? There we go. There's actually one that hangs here and another in the opposite corner. So it actually has extra overhead storage that is literally new in the bag, never touched. And here's that original grill I was telling you about. So that's still present and accounted for. Uh, we've got the larger... 12-volt uh, uh, big fan to get great airflow in here. That's a little hanger, by the way. People ask me all the time, like, what are these things? It's just a little clothes hanger. Just a something handy, extra space. And again, full-size air conditioner. If I back up a little bit, get to see the, uh, the whole dinette here. That can fold down into a big sleeper if need be. That can be an adult-size sleeper comfortably. It's very deep. That's an exceptionally deep dinette. Um, also, bathroom, which has never been used except maybe as a closet like i see some extra accessories and things here i mean this is there's never been water run through this i mentioned the heated beds front and back queen rear looks like king front um a little bit bigger refrigerator in a high wall my oh my battery's getting low i better finish this up um bigger fridge here too so you've got your tv hookups there you can put entertainment over in this area if you feel like it you could probably set it on that stand too if you were curious and you've got double shelf storage in that. A lot of normal pop-ups, you get one little pocket. I mean, everything in this is clean, fresh, new. This is this is impressive. If I park this out among the new Rockwoods at our dealership, I bet nobody would be able to tell the difference. And, and I mean that literally. You'd have to really know what you're looking at to know that this is not brand new. So, basically new camper. Use price tag, same as new financing, may still be available on this, depending on um, qualifications and approvals and whatnot, but that is very, very, very possible. So, give us a call, 800-256-5196, Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.